A lot of new content was added to Red Dead Online today, so that's what I call a weekly update. I mean, really, we have a lot of stuff, like a new survival mode that is called Call to Arms, and it's awesome in my opinion, I've tried it already, and it's fun and pays extremely well. Finally, we have some cool PV content in Red Dead Online, but that's not it. Also, we have a second part of a quick draw club, with some interesting rewards, plus we have a new contract mission, three part as usual. Also, we have some usual discount. So let's talk about today's weekly Red Dead Online update. Let's talk about discounts first. So far I found a discount on sniper rifles, rolling block rifle and Kirkana rifle, and I strongly suggest you to buy Kirkana rifle, it's an extremely good weapon for both PvP and PvE, and it's gonna be really useful in this new call to arms survival mode. As tables you can find a discount on one horse only, it's a Norfolk Roadster, and it's pretty cool looking horse, I mean if you like it buy it, it's a good one. Pretty much all that you can buy from Maggie in your Moonshiner Shack also goes with a discount and I strongly suggest you to buy business upgrades if you haven't done it yet. Your Moonshine Shack will be so much more profitable with such upgrades. Unfortunately there are no extra payments for Moonshine deliveries, but maybe there are some other bonuses we will find out about it only from the news wires that will be posted later in the evening. I haven't found any new clothing, but from Madame Nazar you can buy the Cleland out. Outfit. Again, it's gonna cost you 52 gold bars. Wait for discount, maybe. That's all the bonuses and discounts that I found so far, so let's move to the actual content. First of all, Quick Draw Club Part 2. It's pretty similar to the previous first part of the Quick Draw Club. Also cost 25 gold bars, and it seems like it's not gonna be too hard to unlock all the levels. So you're gonna get all this gold back easily. Anyway, there are different cosmetics, obviously, and some looks pretty cool. I like the items in this new... Outlaw Pass. Nothing special, but clothing looks good. Which is kinda interesting, this time they are giving Capitale for free. The main reward for leveling up this part of a quick draw club is unlocked on level 25 and it's called the Row Barrow Jacket. I guess it's a jacket. And it looks pretty cool in my opinion, just like some Native Americans clothing. I wanted to see something like that for a long time and read that online. Hat's also pretty nice and this pants too, and by the way it's free. So overall it's a pretty solid Outlaw Pass in my opinion. It's a little bit weaker than the first part because there was a Dutch costume, but still it's a good one. Anyway, let's continue. There is also a new three-part contract. It's called the Cornwall Contract and I haven't tried it yet. I will try it later. I hope it's good. Okay, let's be honest. I'm not gonna try it anytime soon, just because there is a survival mode. This call to arms mode that has been added to Red Dead Online today. I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. To start it you need to visit post office, receive a telegram and read this telegram. As you can see there are 5 different survival maps. Just like previous telegram missions they have 3 difficulty levels, standard, hard and ruthless. For some reason description says that you have received a telegram offering some solo walk, but it's not solo. I don't know whether it's some sort of a mistake or what, but I started this mission with some random dude. It seems like there is some sort of a matchmaking or something. Anyway, I choose Blackwater mission and I'm telling you, it was kinda interesting and hard. There are 10 total waves of enemies and it takes some time to clean each wave, especially if there are only two players defending the city. Even more, each wave gets stronger and stronger, NPCs have better weapons, they even have these armored wagons with machine guns and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the dude who played with me died on a wave 7 and decided to leave despite the fact that he could just wait it for me to clean the enemies. And I'm telling you, these last waves are pretty hard to handle when you are solo. I actually died on wave 9 because of my stupid mistake, for some reason I decided to stay close to this machine gun, I could have avoided easily. But the fun part is, for completing 8 waves on a standard difficulty I received 2.4 gold bars, 360 dollars and 4000 experience points. That's a lot, that's an extremely good payout. It's like a dream come true, finally we have some interesting, challenging mission in Red Dead Online and it pays well. By the way there is a cooldown, as you can see after completing each mission, even failing it, not surviving all 10 waves, you will need to wait for 46 minutes, at least that's what game told me. 
anyway, I'm gonna focus on this new activity and learn it better, so there will be more detailed video about this, and so far all I can tell is, like, I like it, I mean, I really enjoyed it, it should have been in the game since the beginning. But what is your opinion about this new content? Let me know in the comments, whether it's gonna make you to come back to Red Dead Online if you stop playing, and I know that a lot of players actually stopped playing recently. Anyway, I've told you about this new cool update, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.